success. All right. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm I'm Chris Urban. I'm the uh, uh, the, the library carpentry director. So we just uh, recently hired with the California Digital Library and uh, and the carpentry. Uh, I just want to thank actually uh, everyone for this opportunity to uh, speak with the um, the Code for Live community. Uh, we've had conversations in carpentries for a while about just working with the Code for Live community. So this is a great opportunity. Uh, but um, so library carpentry is simply uh, sophomore day skills for anyone who works in libraries. We run workshops to volunteer community. Uh, and uh, the emphasis is, is on anyone. I think uh, um, you know one of the things we hear in the community often is uh, is it for librarians or you know for is it for everyone in, in, that works in the library or in other ways too if we uh, interact with the glam glam in general the glam community so uh, it really is for everyone uh, and so people come to the carpentries for various reasons so for to library carpentry. One of, one of them is uh, to partner uh, in the research life cycle to sort of gain uh, experience with some of these tools and these new approaches uh, so that they can approach uh, researchers uh, and just be more informed and, and have better interactions with them. Uh, the other thing is just to get things done. Uh, so you're working on an OCLC report for a week. You can actually automate that and, uh, and, and cut it down to uh, you know, an hour or two. So you can get things done more quickly. Uh, the other thing too is uh, to collaborate with others. So uh, we all create guides. Um, we all create um, instructional material. And uh, one of the things that, that Library Carpentry allows you to do is sort of share the material, um, the lesson material that you develop with the broader community, more eyeballs um, on it and contributing to it so that you're, you're not necessarily reading some of the stuff Silo. Uh, so the other thing too is culture, and um, I always love this uh, quote from um, Vernon Downey, uh, who actually is paid to this training, and uh, it's been very empowering for her um, to just be able to do many more things, um, just you know, simply being someone who's wor working on mark record, and uh, she's done some amazing things after the training. And, pictures of actually a group in Copenhagen that has uh, formed a group of, of just interested people uh, that have taken carpentry, the library of carpentry, and want to continue to learn and, and uh, work with each other. Um, so, for some reason, this, an image uh, um, disappeared there. It was a really nice one. <laughs> but, um, so it showed a lot of people working in a in library together uh, doing a workshop, but really people come to us for this need for training to learn new tools and approaches. Uh, that's really one of the, the biggest drivers. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot is changing um, in in libraries, but just in, in general, and it's you know our our work is becoming increasingly digital and data driven. So this is what is driving people um, to the workshops as well. That even showed up. Um, so um, yeah, so a carpentry, so library carpentry really, I think two things kind of distinguish it. Um, the pedagogy, so we have a pedagogy that we teach, um, teach instructors, you know, um, and some of these things are very, uh, very simple. Um, like one of the examples is don't say just all the time. You know, don't, don't really convey that these things are just simple and easy do it's it's hard everyone has uh, gone through the learning process and it's never been easy I think to become uh, you know a coder programmer uh, so so that's just one that's just one sim simple example um, the other thing too is we have uh, lessons that we collaboratively develop, develop and that's what I uh, mentioned to you before is we have a philosophy about how we develop those lessons uh, and again another simple example is how, how to chunk the lesson into manageable units. Um, and so that's something we teach uh, people. Um, and we know that, um, we know this is having an impact. We've started doing these uh, assessment reports. This one's from Data Carpentry, and I'll, I'll speak to that a little bit uh, very soon, actually. Uh, but um, 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of people are responding and saying this has had an impact. Uh, the training has had an impact. I've learned something. I've been able to apply it. Um, and and so that's that's really good to hear. I can click with the link to our assessment work. Um, so I mentioned that why was I using a, a data carpentry assessment? This uh, if some of you might have heard of software carpentry. Um, I'm speaking about library carpentry. Um, I think one thing that's been hard for us is that we, uh, we've been grassroots movement. We are really volunteer-led. And so data carpentry actually started not too uh, far from here, at, uh, had some of its roots at, actually do. Um, and I met some of the people that started it uh, there yesterday. But um, really, now, now, now that we are merging and all these different lesson organizations are merging, we are one carpentries, um, and so uh, you know that what that means is a lot of the lesson material that has been developed across the carpentries is just there for your flexibility and whatever you want to do. Um, so you you know you take library carpentry. This is a great way to onboard and and then also think about some of the other lesson materials and branch off and, and do you know some of the ecology lessons and data carpentry. Just one example. So, um, yeah. So, so like one of the things that uh, I think um, that library carpentry is sort of why we need it at the moment in, in the carpentries is the community aspect. I think libraries bring something um, that the carpentries need is that place, that um, place for sustainability, that place for people to come together at organizations, at institutions. Um, we, we, you know, we, we represent sustainability, we have services, and I think uh, the way that the Carpentries um, has started off is, has been really a lot, of, a lot of time with early career researchers, uh, and oftentimes they move around, and so the library really can provide that foundation, that hub. Um, and another thing to, to uh, you know, an important point you mentioned about uh, library carpentry is I, I liken it to another program that was run in Australia called 23 Research Data Things, and that was run with th thousands of librarians uh, learning about um, research data, research data topics, and they they started at a really like an introductory level and uh, and and did all this online, and I, I was lucky to meet a lot of the librarians that went to through this program and see the impact that it had. Of elevating them to bringing them into the conversation about research data, and so I think library carpentry is exactly like that. It's allowing us, you know, to, to be a part of this conversation, allowing more of your your, your staff, your team members, uh, you know, more more members of the community to really have these conversations uh, about data services and um, about a lot of different things because it's across the spectrum. Everyone is involved in different ways uh, with doing something data related um, or doing something with, re with software. And um, this is a raised uh, slide from one of my colleagues, Lisa Lyon, who just demonstrated some of the roles that have, have a part to play. Um, and so uh, I mentioned uh, we're growing, um, we're trying to grow this community, we're trying to grow. Uh, Grow this out in libraries, grow library carpentry out, and um, really uh, foster the carpentries uh, in, a, in a broader network. Um, here's an example. I, I, I thought it would be good to. Um, I don't think we do this as much in library carpentry. Is that it is very volunteer uh, led, and uh, and we we never get around to the part of telling our story. And so that's what my job will ultimately help with is telling those stories. And here's one from Nesquik, which is a New England group. They, this was great because was, all these libraries got together and they became gold members with, uh, and I'll, 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 I'll talk to you a little bit about that, but they, they, they uh, became gold members of the Carpentries. They teamed up uh, and um, became instructors and started offering workshops together, uh, sharing the resources together. Uh, and, and they're at an interesting juncture right now because they've gotten to that point and now they're thinking we want to we want to add lessons material you know we want to add lesson material to, to library carpentry and, and develop it further 
And so uh, just in a recent conversation with them, they're, they're helping to map out some lessons that they have to, into sort of a curriculum, into something they can contribute to the library carpentry community. Um, and then uh, the National Library of Medicine is another example um, where they actually um, did something similar to what the, the data carpentry example I showed you before, where they did assessment internally and also saw that there was this interest, uh, this, this impact that, that the, the lessons had and this, um, this, this interest in learning more. And, and so that, that's exactly what the Nestwick uh, librarians were talking about. If we can add some of that additional material, like what's next? Um, and then um, the, this, is, this is what I'm, I'm pretty excited about. UNC Library and the Library School are partnering together uh, on, a, on a workshop, but also to fast track some of the, the, the staff there to become instructors and, and, and to really test this, this out, this hub for the carpentry within, within an institution. Um, and I, I'm excited about that because um, normally if you start as a member, it, it can go a little bit slowly, you know, because you're constrained by maybe the amount that you can spend on your membership. This is going to be where they're going to have a, 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 um, a number of staff already trained up and they can focus on the researcher after they, uh, after they get trained up through library carpentry. And another example is the FAIR data and software workshop that was uh, recently held at, um, at TIB, a library in, in a TIB library in Han Hanover. And uh, it was really innovative to see how they paired librarians that were very knowledgeable about uh, data citation, software citation, data management, um, that, that didn't have so much exposure with the carpentries, with carpentries instructors. And, and so both sides were learning from each other and uh, it, was, it was great to see that this could be this melting pot of, 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 of working together on something that's coming down the pipeline. So, and by the way, FAIR stands for find, Findable, uh, Accessible, Interoperable, and Reusable. Uh, so in case you're, you're wondering. But this is something that's very active in Europe. They're very interested in FAIR and making things FAIR you know, there are repositories, there are services. This is, it's, it's almost going to be like a measure um, that, that people are going to use. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, sorry, a little pun. Carpe diem. So, how do I, how do I, um, you know, how, how, how do people actually get engaged with the carpentries, right, in, in library carpentry? Um, and you can start, really, anyone, you can start. Contributing to a lesson, there are on GitHub. We have uh, all these lessons in a repository, and so we've had sprints where um, people have just made sometimes you know just just made corrections, uh, uh, grammatical corrections, or done you know done some other things. But you can really start that way. It's free. Um, you can host, um, and and so that that's another thing we try to keep the the cost down um, for our host. Uh, to help is another thing too. If you, if you if you have these skills, you're not an instructor, you're not a certified instructor. You can still help and actually show up at, at a workshop and um, assist. Um, and so we have we have a, a number of people that contribute that way. And then the teach ultimately to sign up and then again that's free. You can register to become an instructor. Um, but the one of the, the, the things to mention with memberships is that memberships allow you to um, train a cohort together. So if you signed up individually, you might not be able to, to learn with some, learn to be an instructor with uh, members of your staff or members of a, um, uh, of a network like Nestquick. Um, uh, the other thing too, you get access to our infrastructure, all the people helping you in, in various ways. So uh, memberships are starting to take up um, a lot lately, and uh, that's great because then we can offer more infrastructure to everyone and more, more uh, opportunities. Uh, so uh, that's one way you can also get involved. Uh, so some statistics about, uh, about how we've been doing. Um, so uh, 
these numbers are going to change. <laughs> so I've been trying to go through and look at all the work that we've been doing at, as a community, and I think every every time I look at them, someone tells me, hey, we ran a workshop that two years ago, and so I've been uh, trying to, to um, improve our statistics. Um, but at least at the moment, we know that there have been 70 instructors and 84 helpers that, that um, have contributed to this over 60 library carpentry training around the world, 11 countries, uh, and I think roughly 2,000 learners at the moment. Um, and the caveat here is that, um, again, libraries being great help for the carpentry, we've had about 219 library-related events. So um, beyond the library carpentries, we've had libraries hosting carpentry events. Um, and I, I mean, I kind of joke about the, this statistic changing because yes, yesterday again, I, I found out that it's actually uh, 12 countries now because Ethiopia taught a library carpentry, which is really awesome, amazing, and really, I was really excited to see that. Um, and then uh, I also included some carpentry uh, statistics uh, that also are changing. <laughs> But we, uh, the trainers, our trainers, people that can actually train the instructors, uh, and so we have less of them. Um, but we have a lot of instructors around the world, um, and you know about 1,500 and growing. Um, recently talked to a European librarian, and they're very interested in library carpentry. Um, but we don't have enough trainers to go around, so we're we're going to have to think about how we can help, um, you know, the, the colleagues in Europe too. Get up to speed, but um, yeah, we've had such an impact. 30, so Thirty-seven thousand learners in forty-four countries. Um, the the interesting one is uh, we've been even to Antarctica. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes people say, "Well, um, I need something to maybe show my administrator, you know, the, the director, about um, why we should do something like this." And, and I'm just showing you this report that can, can um, pro pro potentially help. I've heard from some directors saying, this is great. I've actually handed it to um, the VP of research on campus, too, about how libraries can help with this uh, um, data science initiative on campus. So this report, Shifting Data Savvy, the Future of Data Science in Libraries, is a, is a helpful report. Um, but in that report, we mentioned carpentries more than anything else. So uh, it, it came up as uh, something libraries should be thinking about. Um, uh, this is, uh, we have a lot of ways to get <laughs> in touch with us. Uh, um, and so we have a Gitter channel that actually can, um, you know, go in and actually talk to a number of members. Uh, we have an engagement form where you can uh, uh, mention your interest. The listserv is, is something that's just developing um, more so but lately where we're sharing things and, and that could be a place where you, you enter and there's Twitter, of course. And, uh, um, and then I mentioned the GitHub um, repositories. You can also engage with us there, um, create an issue and, and have a conversation with us. So these are my, my details too. You can also talk to me. Um, and so uh, there's my email address and my Twitter account, which sounds like a compiler to researchers, but you can send it to Lynn CCE, so. Uh, yeah, thank you, and uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to, to answer them. Oh, I forgot, there's stickers up at the front, too. Uh, carpentry and library carpentry stickers. So tell us a little bit about, oh, can you hear me? So, okay, great. so tell us a little bit more, if you could, about uh, like becoming an instructor. Like, what's that involved if one of us not only wanted to attend, which would be great, but I don't know if there's a lot of instructors in Atlanta who are working right now with library carpentry and like what that process would look like if one of us wanted to jump in. Yeah, uh, um, I wish I could bring it up here in the presentation, but, but um, if you go to software carpentry, Again, yeah, the confusing part again, we're all one carpentries, but go, go to software carpentry, and there's a team page. Uh, you go to the, the uh, you know, softwarecarpentry.org and then you do forward slash team, 
you will come across a page where you can find other structures in the area. And I think there's quite a few in Atlanta um, that you can hover over there to see where they're located. Um, but uh, the other thing, too, is about becoming an instructor. Um, it's a two-day uh, online training that you typically take. Um, we do do in-person instructor training. Uh, the free registration is uh, one where you can actually wait for about seven, seven plus months. Um, it can take a while, um, but we offer free options, which is great. And, and a lot of librarians have taken um, uh, advantage of that opportunity. Um, the other option was to become a member and you can send a cohort of your, uh, of your colleagues um, to an instructor training. And that's kind of nice if you do it with your colleagues. Uh, but the instructor training really, is, again, is about kind of the style of teaching, um, all the logistical stuff too, like all the things you need to know about um, that will save your life at some point, like how to put up, uh, how to create one of these uh, workshop websites too, uh, you know, just the schedule and everything. Um, and, and, and it you know, just talks about just all the ins and outs of, uh, of being an instructor. Um, so that's two days, and after that, you have a checkout process. So you actually um, you you demonstrate that you can work with GitHub to so do a full class, um, and demonstrate that you can contribute to lesson material, um, and then you do uh, a discussion. So you talk with people that just had instruction sessions. Say, what would you have done differently? What did you do that was good? You know, we have this thing called. Um, they're one up, one down, and, and this is their carpentry too. If you, you have a green and a red sticky, and you put them on your laptop, and um, whenever you you know you, you have your experience of difficulty, you have a red sticky on your laptop. It's a really simple thing. Again, it demonstrates to the instructors and helpers, like someone has a question without you raising your hand. Hey, you know, it's uh, it's a it's a it's, it's a simple thing that they also teach us, uh, but. Um, yeah, there's that, and then you also do a uh, demonstration. So you, you do a uh, five minute uh, demonstration of your teaching, and uh, they get to give some feedback. Most often, um, I, I, I think librarians are amazing, so we can actually, uh, a lot of us are great teachers. So um, I, I, at least in the session I went through, everyone did a really good job. Um, you know, of, uh, so um, it's, it's really constructive, too, I found it feedback you get from all your co colleagues about like what you did um, that could be improved that you did that was great. So that, um, and that doesn't end. We also have um, opportunities for you to come back and have those discussions and say, I'm really having a challenge with this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, sorry, we're long on the end. Is anyone interested in becoming uh, an instructor or Helping or anything. Raise your hand if you're interested in the carpentry. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Come talk to me, please. <laughs> yeah.